Hello everyone, so I'm going to show you how to create traps in RPG Builder. It is something you can actually already do um, in version before 1.1, but 1.1 comes with options for animation, sound, and things like that. So let me just show you how it works. So as you can see, as I step in those traps, um, not only I'm taking damage, but there is also an animation playing as well as a sound. I'm going to do it again. Great. As you can see, they have a cooldown also, so you have freedom on how uh, quick you should be able to uh, re-enter those traps and get this triggered again. Uh, in this case, I think I set it up to 5 seconds. Anyway, so um, let me show you a bit how this is set up. Traps are using the um, interactive node system, or rather, you can use the interactive node uh, component or system to actually create some traps. So here we have a platform, which is just this entire thing here, uh, but we don't really care about that. What we care about is uh, those interactive node object. So trap needle, trap needle one and two extra. These are duplicate, of course, so we can just look at the first one. So what do we have here? First of all, inside this, it doesn't really matter because these are just mesh renderers, no logic on them. Everything uh, which is important happens on the parents. So here we have a box collider. Um, this collider is, of course, what is going to um, detect when the player is entering the trap. And this size, so this hitbox, is what defines the trap, right? So if you make it smaller, then it's going to be, um, you, need to, you need to go more like inside the trap for it to be triggered or whatever. In my case, I set it up to be on the exact trap. But actually, uh, maybe it will look a bit cooler. Uh, let me see. If it was a bit smaller. I don't know, it's up to you what makes sense, but um, yeah, now as you can see, it's only going to get triggered as we actually um, enter the trap exactly or rather the spikes, right? Anyway, um, so we have this box collider and you can have any collider type you want. Uh, make sure it's triggered so that you don't actually collide with it. Under that, we have an animator. So I'm quickly going to show you. This is very simple. Um, here we have a, an empty state, so it's going to just kind of wait in this state until you work in it. And we have an attack component, so the name really doesn't matter. Um, but what I do is that I use this um, attack here as a parameter. So uh, if I go ahead and look at the trap here in the interactive node, you see that we have node animation attack, which means when we actually like trigger the node, then it's going to call the attack uh, parameter on whatever animator is here, in this case, this one. And what this does is that it's triggering this transition. So here we have a transition from any state to trap needle attack. And this is just a um, an animation of the spikes going up and down. That's all it is. So when we enter the collider, uh, it is checking if we have an animation name here or rather a parameter. And if it does, it checks if we have an animator. And if we do, then we just trigger this uh, parameter. Now, below that, we also have a field for sound. So in this case, this sound played here, which is just one of the sound provided from uh, Kafofo. In this case, it's like for a bow, a bow. <laughs> but I mean, it does a job for this video. And uh, we have a cooldown. So if I set it to one, We don't need to wait too much to be able to, uh, you know, trigger the trap again. And now the actual, you know, kind of important part. Uh, well, first of all, it is not on click; it is trigger. If I would put it click here, I could actually now um, click it and use distance max, let's say three meters. And now I can literally just trigger it myself by clicking. I guess that's another way you could handle your traps if you wanted to. But uh, for this specific case, I prefer for it to be triggered by the collider, which uh, in this case, you need to have is trigger on. Otherwise, it's not going to work anymore, as you can see. But if we have is trigger on and we have a collider with is trigger on, then we can now enter it and it's going to be triggered. And the last part, which is kind of the most important one, uh, what kind of action this trap will do, right? So in this case, it is an interactive node of type effect and you can play as many effects as you want. And in this case, it's just going to trigger an effect with 100% chance to trigger it as you walk in it. In this case, um, trap damage. Trap damage is just an effect I created in RPG Builder. And um, here, or rather, let's look for trap up. Here we have trap damage. 
So this is an instant damage and um, it's doing five. It's affecting the health. It's physical damage and that's pretty much all there is to it. And we just have a hit blood particle effect because you see when I get hit, we have this kind of blood particle. Now I could really easily tweak the damage if we think it's not enough. Up, I can now take 25 and you see that we just died. So all of that is working perfectly. Um, it's really cool. I think you can really have fun with that, how you, um, you know, set up your game world. And I don't know, I think personally in a lot of games, I like when you have some kind of hidden traps and stuff. So I think a lot of you are going to come up with some cool stuff. Uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, like I said before, it's not really a new system. It is literally using the interactive node, uh, but the interactive node is a very flexible component, meaning you can do many, many other things that I d never really talked about yet um, on those videos. But in this case, just an example on how you can actually quickly set up a trap. So that's it. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching and see you in a future video.